I got seven out here. All right, bring them in. Well, uh, I was kind of hoping that you could help me. Help you? Ha! That's not my job. That's your job, buddy. <laughs> uh, fine. <sighs> Whoa, easy killer. There's important stuff in there. We're waiting on an ink cartridge. I think it's in there. Gotta go. Ah, here it is. Perfect. All right, my parts are here from Shark Bite Distributors. Let me get out my $200 knife. Look at the way they packed this. What is this, a used wheel? What's this? Royal Cup Coffee? I didn't order this. Hope I didn't get charged. This bag is open. Not very professional. What are they doing over there? Ugh. What the heck? A Fodor? How did they get that in there? I didn't order this! You gotta be kidding me! Oh, There's a log in there! Did my boat oar come in, Pa? You ordered that boat oar? Yeah, for my rowboat! Yeah, well look what else came in! Ah, disgusting! Hey, wait a minute, Pa! Ah, what are you doing? It's just candy, Pa! I gotta call over there and see what's going on! <laughs> oh! Caught me flossing my teeth! Pterodactyl here! Today's how-to video is gonna be on this here John Deere with this easy change oil filter system on this Briggs and Scratton engine. I'm gonna show you how to convert it back to a standard oil filter in case you got one of these and you wanna eliminate this 40 to $50 oil filter. But first, before we do that, we're gonna go over this a little bit. The idea behind this is it's supposed to be quick and easy and no mess. That's the whole idea behind it. So you're not making a mess, you got oil all over the place. That's the idea. Second thing, this is not Briggs and Scratton. This is John Deere. You can only buy this oil filter from John Deere. We had to go to our local John Deere dealer to get one. We tried looking it up on Briggs to see if there was an alternative. And at this point, there's not. That doesn't mean in the future, there may be an aftermarket filter for this, but right now there's not. So I know a lot of you are thinking, you know, oh, that's Briggs and Scratton, that's Briggs. No, that's not Briggs and Scratton. John Deere, that's their design. They just added it to this Briggs and Scratton engine. Now I've seen John Deere's video. I watched their video on how to change the oil and I was reading through the comments and I seen a lot of people were saying on there, oh yeah, great. Oh yeah, do that, do this, take that apart. You still got oil in the crankcase. You're only changing out a little bit of oil. You're not draining all the oil out. So there is a drain plug. So if you have one of these and you want to drain all the oil out, you can take the drain plug out, but it's going to make a mess. See, that's their whole idea behind this, is quick and easy, 30 second oil change and no mess. So they tell you to take that oil filter off, cut the zip tie. Now if yours has got the zip tie on it, that means it's never been changed before. 
So you cut the zip tie off, you unscrew this, you take it off, you take the new one out, you put it in there, because the new one's full of oil already. So you take it out, put the new one in, turn it on, spin it on to lock it in, and then there's a rubber plug that you could stick in the old one so you can discard it. Then you start the mower, you let it run, and you check the oil, and if it's low, you just top it off. And that's where people were saying, well, there's still oil in there, dirty oil. You're just mixing clean oil with dirty oil. So if you want, you can drain it. That's up to you. So that's the story on this. It's just for cleanliness, okay? Quick and easy. So maybe you don't mind spending 40 to $50 for an oil filter. Maybe you're like a clean freak and you're like, I don't want oil all over the place. I'll spend the money. But if you want to convert it back, this is what you do. Get a wrench and take this off. Unscrew this. And then this whole thing comes off. All right. And then set it out of the way and let it drain all over your floor and make a mess. So I went out my junkyard and I got a sump cover or oil pan off a junk mower of V-Twin Briggs and Scranton. So if you look, you can see it's exactly the same. The casting is the same. The only thing missing is this nipple. And you can buy that nipple. And the part number is 690-954. So you can buy that nipple and screw it in there. So I'm gonna take this nipple out. Unless you got a junk motor laying around. And then I made me a, a tool for taking this out. I tried to grab it with some channel locks, but it started wrecking it. So this is a 5 8 bolt and then I ground it to a taper. And then you stick it in here. Give it a tap. And then you can remove this. So again, 690-954 for this. And then you can screw it in. If you want, you can put some Loctite on there. And then you can take that tool that I made and tap it in there and get it snug. On a crawler, the center of theirs is a hex. And you can put an Allen wrench in theirs and take theirs out on a crawler. And then here's your standard oil filter. And there, there's your dinner. Now you've converted it back to a standard oil filter. Now I'm gonna show you how to change the oil with this John Deere Easy Change Oil System. So again, if yours has got the zip tie on it, that means the oil has never been changed. This is how it comes from the factory. So you're gonna cut this off, and then you don't put another one back on. You discard it. And then you got your little lock and unlock symbol on there. So you push down and turn it and take it off. See, no mess. And you pull your new one out, come sealed in a bag, and if you got a switch blade, get your switch blade out, take it out of the bag, take off this rubber plug. Oh, it's making noise. And then you stick it on here, and it's going to be right 
right in this area here this arrow is going to be. And then you push down and you'll feel it click in and then that arrow should line up with this arrow. And then there's a spot here to put your hours and the date so you know when you changed it. And then they tell you in the instructions, you know, pull the plug wires off for safety like you're going to be cranking it over while you're changing the oil. That's up to you. And then check the oil. They tell you to check the oil. Make sure the oil is at its level. If not, add some. But what I would do is check the oil. Make sure it's at the right level. Start it. Let it run a minute or two, and then shut it off, and then recheck the level again. So that's the whole idea behind that. Quick and easy, no mess. If you want to spend $40 every time you change your oil. So there's your dinner on this. I showed you how to convert it back, and I showed you how to change the oil filter. So, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Follow me. Where are you at? Follow me, come on, follow me. Facebook and Instagram. Go to our web store, buy some Terrell apparel so you'll look all spiffy, strutting around. I'm a Terrell fan, I know how to fix lawnmowers. He taught me. And there's your dinner! Woo! Very expensive oil change system! windy out there. Hear that? That door is farting. <laughs> Alright, Trev. Game seven. Two seconds left. You down by two. You gotta make this three banger for the win. Whole team's counting on you, bro. Oh, oh, come on, Shark. You're putting too much juice on me, bro. Oh, three, two, one. Oh, gnarly. Oh, I think you broke it, Trev. Just box it up anyway, brah. We'll just blame it on the ups, man. Oh, righteous. Oh, 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 oh. You better answer that, brah. Aloha, shark bite distro. Trevor speaking. Spill your guts. Yeah, aloha to you too. Look, I just got a parts order in here today with a lot of crazy stuff in it. I'm just wondering, what's going on over there? Oh, bro, let me tell you. I was down by two with two seconds left. Whole team was counting on me, but I missed the shot because I had noodle arms, bro. What are you talking about? Put me out with a manager. Shaw, sure, right, bro, hold on. Hey, Shark, he wants to gab with you, bro. So, tubular. Oh, oh. Aloha, this is the manager himself speaking, Shark. Spill your guts. <laughs> yeah, hi, Shark. This is Pterodactyl from Grass Rats Garage. No way, Trev. It's Terrell himself. Oh. What's up, Terrell, man? Did you get that radical package we sent you or what? Sure did, Shark. That's what I'm calling about. Some of these parts I got look used and broken. Oh, no way, really? Oh, it was probably the ups man having a total wipeout. They're a bunch of Barneys in my opinion. Did you get them undies I sent you? Yeah, I got them skivvies. Oh, sweet. Trevor threw in a treat for Junior inside. He had a total blowout. It's gnarly. Yeah, he's snacking on it right now. Oh, all right, bro, I'll tell you what. We'll totally repackage your order and send it back out free of charge. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds gnarly. Whoa! All right, Turtle Man, hang 11, bro. Oh, oh, what time is it, Trevor Man? Oh, it's one o'clock, quitting time, bro. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'm hitting the beach. Well, you just gonna leave me hanging, bro? Excuse me, daily package man. You think you can?
can help me out by passing me that wrench over there? Help you? That's not my job. That's your job. Gotta go. Hey! Hey! Oh, I see what you did there. Real funny. Come on, pass me the wrench. <laughs>